Hey hunters, it's Hoosier Hunter here. Tonight, I have a tech and product review. Stay tuned. Tonight, I'm going to be reviewing the Wicked Lights Scan Pro Headlamp. The Wicked Lights Scan Pro uh, IC, which is intensity control, comes in this nice zippered uh, protective bag with the Wicked Lights logo on it. Inside, You'll see that it has the Scan Pro headlamp itself. We'll go through that in detail here in just a minute. Uh, this here is the battery charger for the 18650 batteries that it comes with. Actually runs on two of those. And it comes with the uh, car charger outlet as well plug in it comes with a carrying case for your batteries and up here this is kind of nice it has a couple zippered pockets I haven't put anything in them yet except for the operations manual these are nice you can put probably put the battery case in here you can see that that'll just slide right in and then same thing on the other side just to show you the operation manual scan pro ic which is intensity control headlamp So get this closed here and get this out of the way. Moving into the headlamp itself. The construction of the headlamp, headlamp is all plastic for the most part. Uh, there's a housing here where the LED goes in that, that is uh, alloy or metal of some sort. But the rest of it's plastic and it comes with this nice um, I guess you would call it a, a hood for it so you don't get a lot of uh, side beam getting down into your eyes whenever you're running this on your head that's real nice it's got this nice texture grip to it too so you can actually turn that whole thing just by grabbing this or this here if you can see it this is actually knurled part of that metal or alloy grab that and scan the whole thing and that is actually what is your zoom to flood focus ring and I'm gonna go upstairs I'm in the basement right now but I'm gonna go upstairs in a little bit and try to uh, shine this outside and I don't know how well my camera is gonna pick up any nighttime shining but just want to try to give a sample run for you guys but this here is your on and off button and then I don't know if this will pick it up or not Let's see if I can focus in on that this here is your intensity control uh, it's not going to pick up that's your intensity control so it goes from low to high or dim to bright so you just push that got it on there and you just twist this goes to dim keep twisting to all the way bright and then this here that gets it down to real tight real tight focus or real tight zoom 
and then you back it out and then you get it into flood dim to bright this thing runs off of both of the 18650 batteries so it gets pretty bright really impressed with the quality of this light the brightness it's it's real light because most of this is plastic um, this whole battery compartment here is plastic so this would be on the back of your head and to get in this you can see this lever right here you just slide that down get that out of the way and you push that directly down and right there is both your 18650s that fit into your charger in your case same thing move that lever snap it in solid and the headlamp the band system it's uh, got adjustments here for the very top this plastic slider hasp and then on the other side your intensity control runs back to the battery pack and you can unplug it right here if you need to there's another adjustment here for the part that goes around your head along with the one that goes on top of your head then moving to the other side probably not, not going to be able to see that too well but this says lock and unlock so this locks it into place you just loosen that and then that gives you full flexibility to dial that in wherever you need to and you just tighten it back down lock it and it's sturdy pretty nice setup it says wicked there on the top really like that protective cover there halo shield that's the proper term for it real nice light I've got the wicked lights 403 uh, combination set it's IC as well intensity control as well so that would be the scanning light which would be the handheld as well as the gun mounted light and I've killed lots of coyotes with that combination and I'm excited to put this into use and see how it does so I was just gonna uh, put this on real quick demonstrate how to use this it's pretty self-explanatory headlamp um, show you how to use this real quick and then go outside for some test footage to see if my camera will pick up the red light at night you just take it here I put the battery pack on in the back first get it in, in place and then just slide this where I need it and you can see here this is your on and off button on off and we can turn this whole halo halo shield and that zooms it down real tight makes a little square and then you've got get that locked in place and then you've got the dim or the bright and everything in between back that back out to get and you can back it all the way back out to get back to flood just like that hands free calling so I just tested this real quick and it actually does pick up 
uh, the Wicked Light Scan Pro light. That right there is actually a barn light, but I'll show you real quick how bright this Scan Pro can get. So right there we're on flood stage. This is shining into a field. You can see there, it's pretty bright. I don't know how well that picks up, but... Pretty impressive light. So all in all, I'm already pretty confident that I'm going to be rather happy with this Wicked Lights uh, headlamp. Uh, just after what I've seen by handling it and doing some outside demonstrations. And with the prior experience that I have from the other kit with the handheld scanning light and the gun mounted weapon light. Uh, those have been great for me, no problems whatsoever. Uh, I've been very happy with them, build quality is great. Uh, price is great. I can locate and spot eyes, I would say uh, probably 400 to 450 yards. Now, that's just spotting the eyes. That's by no means confident in a nighttime shot. Um, I have taken some rather lengthy shots at night and been successful. Um, 150 yards is no problem. Uh, of course, like to get them in a little bit closer if possible. But uh, just as far as picking up the animal, fox or coyotes, and sometimes around here, bobcats even, um, have seen them, like I say, out to 450 yards probably. Um, and then just keep, keep continuing to call, uh, get that animal in closer for a clean uh, harvest. So anyway, I'm going to be happy with this, excited to get out, put it to use, see how it does in the field. Um, just stay tuned with me. Like I said, I'm going to be bringing a lot more product updates, just overall um, life experiences with this channel. Wanting to start taking the camera with me and shooting some footage while I'm out in the outdoors and out with nature, uh, just so I can maybe help others. If I can maybe just help one person with each video that I do, uh, that'd be enough for me. That, um, that, that I think is valuable. Anybody willing to learn and watch my my videos if i can provide any help whatsoever um, i will try to answer each and all questions that you guys ask feel free just to comment below uh, please subscribe to the channel if you like it and uh, stay tuned for more updates and come along on the journey thank you guys and as always happy hunting you can't beat it